Hello! Uh, super quick video. If you're looking in Event Viewer and you've noticed that there's an awful lot of WHEA logger errors with Event ID 17 on your Hewlett Packard machine, then hopefully this will um, help you fix it in a manner of speaking. More on that later. So uh, you're looking at um, this particular machine is an HP Pavilion all in one. The model number is in the description. But there's, as you can see, every couple of seconds it's it was put in these um, errors in. Now this particular one here is um, for a particular device. Now there are two devices and to make life easier what I've done is I've sort of singled them out. So you've got the, the network card, the gigabit network card, that has uh, 103C Rev 10 as part of its um, identification and the other one is the PCIe card reader, the SD card reader, that ends 103C Rev 01. So one is 10 and one is 01. They're, those are the particular devices that appear to be generating this massive flood of errors. Um, so I'll just minimise that and I'll tell you how I fixed it. What I did was I downloaded um, a couple of drivers, particular ones, and I'm going to put a link to them in the description so you can download them directly without having to punt for them. Um, it's a particular version, and if you install that one there, it's called install win 10, then load of numbers. That particular file has actually got a driver in it for the network card, which after you install it, it stops it flooding. So that is an actual proper fix. That works rather nicely. The other one is for the card reader. Now, what this card reader driver does is it doesn't fix it in the, the card reader, then you, know, you can then use it. What it does is when you try and install it, it removes the old driver, but then doesn't put another one on. So, and we'll just flick to device manager. So in other devices, you'll see that the PCIe card reader is listed, but it doesn't have a driver installed. Now, if you disable it, you still get the errors. If you uninstall it and then reinstall it, you get the errors. Whatever driver you put on, you get the errors. But what this particular file does is it kind of nobbles it, if that makes sense. So if you do use the card reader, interesting, just put, put a comment on that, what you use it for, because not many people use them anymore. If you do use the card reader, then this fix obviously isn't going to be helpful because it disables the card reader, stops the flood, but then Windows doesn't then decide to, you know, to put it back on and then the flood start again. So it's, it's, it's kind of a bodge. But if you're, if you're obsessing about the logger errors, if you're obsessing about that, then this takes care of it. Um, and this will be for any laptop or any Hewlett Packard device that does have this particular real tech hardware in it. Right. There's another thing you notice very quickly is that there's actually another file there called Intel Driver and Support Assistant Installer. And what I did was I ran that as well, and that updated a few Intel drivers too. And the website for that is, is here. Again, I'll put a, a link to that. And you basically download the program, you run it, you let it do its business, it does whatever it wants, and when you reboot a few times, and then you can uninstall it so it's not hovering around checking for updates all the time. That, I think, seemed to help as well. So there's essentially there's three three files that you get. I'll just minimize that. You get you get the one for the network card and one for the card reader and you install them both and then that takes away the flood. As you can see from here, because there are other errors obviously because you know Windows, but the flood is gone now. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. If you didn't, or even you know, just leave a comment if you want to comment. If you do use the SD card reader, then it'd be nice to know what you use it for, because um, this is a customer's computer and they're going to be, they don't use the SD card reader, so they're going to check. It was actually in for a separate problem, um, but this sort of reared its head while I was doing testing. I thought, what is all this? So if you are getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of errors recorded, then hopefully this will um, fix it for you. So, uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you want to. And um, thanks for watching.